The outside mirrors are sturdy, with a clear view of what's behind the truck. They fold backwards and forward for easy parking. The composite shell resists rust, and the standard big convex wide-angle mirror built into the base improves visibility. You can also order optional heated outside mirrors to keep them clear in cold weather. It's easy to see these mirrors because the door windows are a full three feet wide, and the window shape gives the side of the truck an aggressive appearance. Front axles are all drop center I-beam designs riding on taper leaf springs. They have a capacity of more than 6,800 pounds, superior to many competitive trucks. Inside wheel cut is 42.5 degrees for great maneuverability, and the taper leaf springs provide excellent ride quality and durability. On diesel models, the heavy duty rear axle has a capacity of 14,550 pounds. Dual stage rear multi-leaf springs provide greater load carrying capacity and vehicle stability. And when carrying light loads, they provide a smoother ride. The rear axle on gas models has a capacity of 11,020 pounds. The hydraulic brake system uses discs in the front and self-adjusting drums in the rear. Cooling ducts on front brake backing plates provide more cooling air to the brakes for improved high speed performance. Electronic brake force distribution adjusts front to rear brake force based on wheel speed, not a mechanical load sensor. This simplifies the braking system and improves brake lining wear to help reduce maintenance costs. Here at the back, the cab extends outward above the engine to provide more room inside. The composite engine cover helps reduce engine noise and keep heat under the cab in cold weather. It also makes the cab look good too. The big Donaldson air filter is on the passenger side of the cab, well protected, taking in cool, fresh air up high. Diesel models have a filter minder air filter restriction gauge that lets you know when it's time to clean the filter. That translates to lower maintenance costs. The engine coolant reservoir is mounted just ahead of the air filter, so it's an easy check during daily inspections. The high strength frame reels are set at an industry standard 33.5 inch width. The perfectly smooth top flanges make for easy body installation. You'll notice the frame has more mounting holes here, along the sides of the side rails for greater adaptability when installing equipment and bodies. These holes are punched at 40 and 80 millimeter intervals, so the brackets can be positioned almost anywhere on the frame, and body installers won't have to waste time drilling extra holes. There are four popular wheelbase lengths to mount bodies up to 20 feet long. Two new extended wheelbase models will be available in our heaviest capacity diesel trucks. A new 200 inch wheelbase model will handle 22 foot long body, while a 212 inch wheelbase only available in our heaviest capacity truck can now handle 24 foot bodies. These extended wheelbase trucks will have frames that conform to original equipment certification standards. On diesel models, there are two choices for fuel tanks. A 30 gallon tank between the frame reels or a 33 gallon tank on the right hand side of the frame. This choice of equipment is a big competitive advantage over other LCF trucks, conventional cutaway vans, and conventional trucks. On gas models, the 30 gallon fuel tank is located between the frame rails. The exhaust system on diesel models now incorporates many components of the new emission system. The largest component is a combined oxidizing catalyst and diesel particulate filter. A muffler is installed behind the filter and an exhaust cooler attachment at the end of the exhaust system lowers exhaust gases to nearly the same levels as 2004 emission vehicles for safer, cleaner operation. An exhaust brake is standard equipment with the diesel engine, adding braking power and contributing to longer life for the braking system. Many competitive vehicles don't offer this useful feature.